How do barcodes work? A barcode, or universal product code, is simply a very, very rapid way of entering numerical data into a computer, which might be the electronic till in a supermarket or the computerized inventory of a warehouse. Its advantages are obvious. Humans are still the tops when it comes to writing operas or thinking up comedic names for household pets, but computers have us absolutely licked when it comes to processing numbers at speed. However, computers are still ultimately thick because all they can understand is noughts and ones. So now we can begin to see why a barcode looks the way it does. The system relies on our old friend the laser, a beam of pure light. The black bits of the barcode do not reflect the laser very well at all, so they're recorded as a one. The white bits reflect it very well, and they are recognized as noughts. Now the most common type of barcode looks like this and represents a 12 digit number. It's also printed underneath in normal numbers in case the barcode becomes too mangled for the scanner to read. The first number is the product type, so birthday card, potatoes by weight, jazz magazine, whatever. The next five numbers are the manufacturer code, and then the next five numbers on the right hand side are the product code, and then the final number is the check digit, but more on that in a minute. There is a quiet zone at the beginning and the end, so the scanner can work out the speed of your swipe, and another zone in the middle separating the left and right hand parts of the code. But here's the bit you can't see with the naked eye. Each element of the barcode, i.e. one digit in barcode language, is divided into seven vertical modules. These consist of individual bars and spaces, and each unique group of seven bars and spaces is interpreted by the computer as one digit only. So, for example, the number one is represented as naught naught one one naught naught one, or space space bar bar space space bar. The number five is space bar 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 space space bar. Uh, if you've walked in in the middle of this for some reason, <laughs> this might seem a bit ridiculous. Why not subscribe? It will all make perfect sense. It's not a nursery rhyme, it's about barcodes. Bar, bar, space, space. Have you any barcode? Anyway, there's some extra cleverness going on here as well. The numbers on the right-hand side of the barcode are the optical opposites of the one on the left-hand side of the barcode. So, for example, the number one, which was space, space, bar, bar, space, space, bar, now becomes bar, bar, space, space, bar, bar, space. This is so the computer knows which way up the barcode is being scanned, so you don't go to the shop for a new packet of cat food and end up paying for a new Mercedes. Finally, there is that check digit. This is the computer's self-policing system, a way of making sure the first part of the barcode has been read correctly. And I'm afraid this involves a bit of maths. Firstly, the computer adds together all the digits in the odd numbered position and then multiplies that total by three. And then to that total, it adds all the digits in the even numbered position. The check digit is then the number required to make this total up to the nearest number divisible by 10. So, for example, if that calculation gives us the number 107, then the check digit should be a 3, because 107 plus 3 equals 110. If it isn't, then a bonger sounds and Doris has to enter the number manually. Incidentally, the first barcoded item to be scanned in a shop was a packet of Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Chewing Gum on the 26th of June 1974. It is now in a museum, unchewed. Someone has sat down in a voiceover studio or something a bit like this, really, and they said, OK, we need a line that says approval needed in case uh, it's an underage person buying a bottle of wine. So you'd say, yes, um, approval's needed for that. But somebody sat in a booth and went, approval needed? Approval needed? Nobody speaks like that.